Hello Power Fam. Today's power topic is pressure between solids for grade 7, 8, and 9. In short, for lower secondary. On the right side of your screen, you could see a picture that shows a knife being used to slice the bread. The knife works because the force used to push down on the bread causes pressure on the bread which slices it. Pressure is like the pushing effect of a force. So when you apply force, there is pressure. Let's say the bread is hard to slice. So what could you do to increase the pressure? You could apply more force because as the force increases, the pressure on the bread here also increases. Or you could use a sharp knife because a sharp knife, a sharp knife has less surface area in contact with the bread. And as the area decreases, the pressure increases. This is the equation involving pressure, force, and area. To calculate the pressure, force, and area, you need to divide force and area. As you know, force is measured in newtons. Area is measured in meters squared. So, the unit for pressure is new newton per meter square. But you have to see first. You have to see in the question which unit is used for the area. So, it could be centimeter square. So, newton per centimeter square. Or the unit for area could also be given in millimeter millimeter square. So you have to see first. Let me ask you a question. Why doesn't the camel legs sink in sand? This is why. See, the camels have large feet, which means the force from the weight of the camel is applied over a large area. The pressure on the sand decreases because the camel has large feet. So the camel will not sink in the sand. I have another question for you. Why doesn't the balloon pop even though it is lying on a bed of nails? But why does it pop when we just use a single nail? Let me tell you. The balloon is lying on many nails. Each nail has a sharp point on the end. Agree? When you pop the first balloon here with the nail, all of the pressure is concentrated on one point. So therefore, on this point, there will be a lot of pressure that will eventually make the balloon pop. But on balloon 2 here, when you place this balloon on the bed of the nails, the pressure points are spread all across the surface of the balloon and the pressure is very small to pop the balloon because all of this, all of this area is experiencing the same pressure. Let us do some exercises on calculating pressure. Question 1. An elephant stands on 4 feet. The weight of the elephant is 50,000 newton. The total area of all the 4 feet is 0 0.4 meter square. What is the total pressure the elephant exerts on the ground? Let's read question number 2. The total weight of a bicycle and the rider is 2,000 newton. The bicycle has two tires in contact with the ground. The weight is supported equally on both tires. The area of each tire in contact with the ground is 5 cm square.
What is the pressure that each tire exerts on the ground? Let us move to the answer of this, these two questions. So the answer for question number one here is, so let's solve it together. An elephant stands on four feet. So we know that the elephant has four feet. And the weight of the elephant is 50,000 Newton. The total area of all the four feet is 0.4 meters squared. Now we have to find the total pressure that the elephant exerts on the ground. Now, as you know, pressure is equals to force over area. So what is the force here? The force is 50,000 Newton and how do we know that it is the force because they have given the unit here Newton and you know that the unit for weight here which is the force is Newton and the area is 0 0.4 and how do we know that the area is 0 0.4 because they have given us the unit here which is m squared and this is the unit for area now when we divide it we'll get 125,000 Newton per meter square. Let's move on to the answer for question 2. The total weight the total weight of a bicycle and the rider is 2000 Newton. The bicycle has two tires in contact with the ground. The weight is supported equally. So now we know that the weight on both tires are equal. So the total weight of the bicycle is 2000 and we need to uh, in order to find out what is the total what is the weight on each tire we need to divide the total weight with 2. Why 2? Because there are 2 tires. When we divide so we'll get the answer we'll get the weight for 1 tire. When we divide 2000 with 2 we'll get 1000. Now we can find the pressure. So, as you know, the pressure equals to force over area. Now we have find the force that is applied on one tire of the bicycle. And now we have to divide the force with area. And the area is 5 cm. How do we know this? Because it is mentioned here, 5 cm square is the area of each tire and we are the the force that we gave is also for one tire so we when we divide 1000 divide 5 we get 200 Newton per centimeter square so the unit here is centimeter square because the unit in the question for area was centimeter square Let's do some more exercises. A hammer is used to push a nail into a wood plank. The area of the point at the end of the nail is 1.5 mm square. So I'm going to underline the important numbers here. Now we know the area is 1.5 mm square. The pressure needed for the nail to get into the wood is 50 Newton per millimeter square. We know the pressure and we know the area. Now we have to calculate the force needed from the hammer. Okay, let's move on to the answer. Pressure is equal to force over area. But here we have to calculate the force. So it's the reverse operation which is multiplication pressure multiplied by area now what is the pressure here the pressure is 50 newton per millimeter square and what is the area the area is 1.5 millimeter square and when we multiply it we'll get 75 newton and why newton what is why did we put the unit Newton here because they ask us to give the force and the, and the unit for force is 
Newton. Let's move on to question number four. A car has a weight on a car has a weight of eight thousand newton. The car is supported by four tires. The weight on each tire is equal. So we know that the weight on each tire is equal and they have four tires. So the weight on all the four tires is equal. The area now we move on to area of one tire is uh, in contact with the ground is 150 centimeters square. Calculate the pressure that one tire exerts on the ground. So we only need to find the pressure for one tire. And then write the working in your notebook and give your answer in Newton per meter square. Now the car has a weight of 8,000 Newton. We know that pressure is equals to force over area. So what is the uh, first we need to find out what is the force? What is the force applied on one tire first? So how are we going to do it? There are four tires and the total weight is 8,000. So when we divide 8,000 into four, we'll get 2,000 Newton, which is the weight of one tire. But we need to find the pressure. So the pressure is equal to force over area. Now we have find the force. And what is the area? The area they have given here, the area is 150 centimeter square. Here's the pressure, 2000 divided by 150 divided into 150 will get 13 point infinity 3 newton per meter square but it's okay we don't need to write all the three we can just write here 13.3 for the next question try to solve it solve this yourself let me read out the question for you a box has a weight of 50 Newton. The area of the box in contact with the ground is 0 0.5 meter square. So they have given us the weight and they also have given us the area. Calculate the pressure. We need to calculate the pressure the box exerts on the ground. And you can show your working and make sure to use the right unit. I'll just help you in this part. Pressure is equals to force over area you can comment down your answers below thank you very much if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe now